friends, I'm Harry and my subscribers know who I am. Today I propose to hear the point of view of Jennifer Aniston and Jodie Foster on the Oscars. Hollywood and cinema in general. Jennifer Runniston, the star of the TV series Friends, favorites of millions, and still a Hollywood actress from the list, systematically apparently can't understand what is happening around her lately. Her colleague, no less famous actress Jodie Foster, feels about the same. At the same time, two iconic stars publicly declare their position, which goes against the main Hollywood mainstream. So, Anista was perplexed about how the legendary sitcom Friends suddenly became harmful and toxic, and also spoke her opinion about the cancellation culture. As for Foster, she reminds the generation of buzzers to sweat less with newfangled troubles and look for who and how offended them once again. Yes, needless to say, a lot of interesting things have been happening in recent years in quotes, and few people understand it in the world of cinema. For example, they change the appearance of a cult character, and God forbid to be outraged about this. Actors and actresses are slightly cancelled if he or she suddenly said something that someone didn't like. And say Oscar, for the first time in the history of the existence of this award, introduces mandatory quotas. It goes without saying that if representatives of the younger generation perceive all these things as something more familiar, then the conditional old-timers of Hollywood, and not only, still cannot understand what kind of crap is going on in general, and how they got to this point. For example, Jennifer Aniston, the star of the TV series Friends, spoke about all this quite loudly last year, who in one of her interviews spoke, for example, about the cancellation culture, saying, we're too fixated on cancel culture. I'm probably going to be canceled now after these words, but I just don't understand what it means. Aniston also talked about how easy it is to hurt and offend someone's feelings in quotation marks nowadays. Now it's a little more difficult, because you have to be very careful which makes it very difficult for a comedian. Because the beauty of comedy is that we laugh at ourselves, laugh at life, Aniston said. Previously, it was possible to joke about some kind of weirdo and laugh to tears, the actress recalls. It's no longer possible now, she says. By the way, let me remind you that Jennifer Aniston said something similar a little earlier about the Friends series, which suddenly, many years or even decades later, began to be accused of intolerance, toxic jokes, anti-inclusivity, and so on. Well, recently, Another famous actress Jodie Foster took about the same position as her colleague Aniston. However, before proceeding to this, I urge everyone to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so as not to miss the latest interesting releases as well as go to our cart. There are even more relevant and interesting news. So, Jodie Foster admitted recently how difficult it is for her to deal with the so-called buzzer generation. That is, people born between the 97th and 2012th years. The actress said that working with this generation can be really annoying and that she hopes she can help her fellow rising stars learn to relax. They're really annoying, especially in the workplace, Foster says in a recent interview. They are like this. No, oh, I don't feel anything today, so I will come at 10.30 in the morning instead of the appointed time. The actress says about the behavior of a new galaxy of young stars, or in emails, if I tell them it's all grammatically incorrect, you didn't check the spelling, then they are like, why would I do this? Isn't this a restriction of my freedom? Well, when asked what in her opinion, young people in the industry need to know, Foster replied, they need to learn to relax, how not to think about everything too much, how to learn to come up with something of their own. I can help them find it, and it's a lot more fun than being under all this pressure, constantly exposing himself as the protagonist of the story. Then, the actress continued the topic by ridiculing one of the fashionable award ceremonies popular in the cinema environment, saying, the organizers of this award are so proud of their inclusivity that they have people of all races in the nominations, as well as non-binary actors and so many women. But just look what's going on there. Everyone there is required to wear heels, evening dresses, with clearly defined gender roles. So why all this farce? Well, by the way, it's true. You must agree. It's funny to tell how you are terribly struggling with gender stereotypes, but at the same time, you are happy to dress up in evening dresses and tuxedos. Although I personally have nothing against such a dress code, but just then maybe it's not worth playing hipsters, fighters with the system so actively. Also, Jodie Foster trolled her young colleagues a little more, saying that they are always steaming about absolutely everything, and constantly thinking about what they should be offended about, or what to be outraged about, or how to do so as not to offend someone. This is no longer freedom, learn to abstract, the actress summed up. In short, they, plus or minus, said similar things together with Aniston, only the first paid attention to the audience, and the second to her colleagues. So the stars are wondering where so many young offended women have come from now, who are steaming for any reason and for no reason, finding harmful and terrible what a whole generation of viewers sincerely laughed at. On this optimistic note, I want to end my story about very famous Hollywood actresses. 
subscribe and comment. May the force be with you. Bye-bye.